Have you ever wanted to use AI for good? Today we are just going to do that. We are going to use Azure Cognitive Services and React to build an application that takes in an image URL and gives you the description of that image using Azure Vision. We also are going to use the voice synthesis to narrate the description. So stay tuned. Let's switch gear and go to the Azure portal, create our resource by going to AI and machine learning, select uh, cognitive services and create your resource group, give it a name and let's choose the pricing, which is going to be S0 and make sure to read the terms and condition prior to press review and create. Once, that, once that's done, we press review and create and we're going to create our resource. It's going to take a few seconds for your application to be deployed. Once deployed, you, uh, we are going to navigate to the dashboard. The, in, the over, in the overview, you can see that we have decision, language, and vision. We are going to be vi using vision. So let's select computer vision. And we have out of the gate, we have few links that we can click on. With the get started link, we can see that it's a REST API to analyze an image. This endpoint requires few things, a subscription key, an endpoint of to our service that points to our service, in this case, the Azure Vision endpoint, and then an image um, a URL. This could be any image that we want to analyze or describe. Um, and you can see that we are passing it as an object um, that is, that has a key and value. The key is U URL and the value is the value of the URL. We can see that the response is a JSON response that gives you the description of the image. We also, when we uh, go back and go to the REST API, we can see that there is a swagger definition of that API. Uh, the top right corner, we can press on API definition and press swagger. From this point on, we can copy the API definition and go to our Postman to import the collection. Let's press on import and the raw text and paste in the clipboard. Now we press continue and hit import. Once this is done, it'll take a few seconds for it to reflect on the left blade. Let's open a browser and then navigate to this repo. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once there, let's clone it down and navigate to the project directory, open it in VS Code and run npm install to install the dependencies. In VS Code, you see that there is an env. Dot file. Let's rename it to .env. Let's navigate back to the Azure portal, select keys and endpoints, copy the key and paste it into the env file. Same thing for the Azure endpoint. Now we are ready to run our project. Let's go back to our terminal and run npm start. This will do a few things. We have a node express that is running in parallel with the React application. So our React application is going to run in on port 3000. And you can see here that there is already an image. So I can press on upload and check to get the description of that image. And if I press voice it, you can hear the voice synthesis narrate the image. Let's go back to Postman and select Computer Vision API. We can see that we have few endpoints. We are going to need to create an environment variable. So create an environment, call it Azure Vision. And we will have two variables. One is the base URL and the other one would be um, API key. So the base URL would be the uh, endpoint URL from our Azure Vision API. And then the API key is the key that we will find from portal. So this is what we are doing right now, copying the keys from the portal and the base URL, which is the endpoint in this case. Once we are done, let's press add and close the model. What I usually like to do after I'm done with setting up my Postman is going to the Swagger API and learning about the API itself. And under the Analyze API endpoint, we can see that it takes uh, a few request parameters 
right? And these are optional. So we can check or uncheck any of these as needed. So for example, language here, we have it as English, but we can change it to Spanish or something that's supported by the API. You also see that the request body takes in a URL and the URL of the image itself. And that's what we are going to do next. But before, a good place to start is the Azure portal. And what we are going to do is select the URL endpoint, right? So anything after the endpoint, um, and we are going to copy it, going back to Postman, and then paste it into the URL. Next, we are going to open a browser and find an image that we want our API to describe or give us a description of. I already have one uh, selected. Go to our body and then paste it there. Press send and you get back your description. And that was Azure Cognitive Services in six minutes.